Welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. So welcome back. Um, we've, got to, we've got to actually do something extra that we weren't planning to do uh, to get it running because we're running a new uh, version of firmware which uh, actually shuts the printer down if it doesn't sense the thermistors. So we've got to actually connect two thermistors before we can get the motors working uh, just to test. So I'm going to wire up the heat bed thermistor next. So I've grabbed a piece of network cable. Again, probably only need about half a meter. It's a bit extra, we'll just chop it later. Um, and I'm gonna put a couple of, couple of the JST headers on this one. So I'm gonna grab two of those. And I've also grabbed the sort of the, the wiring diagram, just so you guys can have a look. It's probably gonna be upside down, I'll turn it around. So we're actually going to put the hot end thermistor on and the heat bed thermistor on. For the hot end, I'm just going to grab the actual hot end and use that for testing. And for the obviously for the heat bed, we're just going to solder some wires on to the ones coming off the heat bed. So this is the pins. Can't see the lines properly. Yeah. So the, these two headers on the on the right are for the heat bed and the, the first two on the left are for the hot end. So we're going to do the heat bed ones with this orange wire. So grab one of your crimps. And the same process as, as usual, just pre-crimp it so you can just put your wire in. Clamp it in my block. So wire strippers or, or side cutters, strip a tiny amount again, probably three to four mil. Let's twist it up. Let's preheat the soldering iron. So I'm using, with this, with this um, soldering iron, I'm using around 400 degrees. wire in and just crush it. It only has to just hold till we get the solder on it. And while we're waiting for the soldering on I'll just get another uh, crimp prepared. Soldering is, iron is hot. It's a tiny amount of solder. So don't don't let the solder flow up the connector. That won't work. And close the hole. Do the second one. And the orientation doesn't matter for a thermistor. It doesn't matter which way the wires are around. It's not polarity sensitive. So that's on. Cut some heat shrink, probably about 15 mil, so just to cover the cover the connector and a little bit of the insulation. Probably closer to 20 mil. Put it on, and I'll. And then use your heat gun to, to shrink it. So it's done and it's ready to put on the printer next. So we're going to solder that onto the solder these two 
uh, wires onto the wires coming off the heat bed, the thermistor wires. So that's the next step. So now we're going to uh, solder some wires onto those wires coming off the heat bed, the thermistor wires. So grab your wire strippers or side cutters and strip probably a good five or six mil on this one. Careful not to pull too hard on the wire because you will, you could pull it right out of the heat bed. Twist them up. So grab your other your other wires we just prepared, the one that's going to go to the ramps, and cut that to length. So it needs to be around half a metre. So cut that to around half a metre. Long is okay. If it's too much shorter though, it could be an issue. And again, strip those, same sort of length. We're just going to join it. Oops, it's not too nice. So I'm just going to open it slightly, doesn't need to be that close. So clamp it in your block. And we're going to tin both, both sets of wires. I'm going to try and leave a, a reasonable amount of solder on the wire. That'll form the join. You clean your tip in between joints, or in between tinning, and we'll leave that. Leave these ones clamped. Actually, no. We're going to cut some heat shrink next. So again, probably around 20 mil. Just to insulate our join. And we'll feed the heat shrink onto the heat bed wires. Don't forget that step. Otherwise you have to desolder your connection. So clamp your wires. So I'll just clamp one, you want to do one at a time. And hold your wires close together. And you only need to just touch it. And your, your tip will wick away the excess solder, typically. It can be tricky to keep it still. The same for the other wire. So put your heat shrink over, making sure you've covered the exposed wires. You don't want any exposed wires sticking out. ready. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.